Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add textures to both photos and logos in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you an incredibly simple technique that you can use to add textures to just about anything. And in this video, we're gonna go over photos and logos. And the best part of all, you can download everything we use in this tutorial, including the textures on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. And applying textures wouldn't even be possible without the magic of blending modes. Check out our latest pro tutorial, how to master blending modes in Photoshop. We'll show you how to color tone your images like a pro, enhance environments and landscapes, apply vintage textures and effects, and a ton more using over 70 examples. Head over to flurn.com now to subscribe and get access to this tutorial and every other pro tutorial we've ever created. All right, let's jump into Photoshop. So let's go ahead and grab our sample image. Now, obviously you guys can use any image you like and these textures are yours to keep. So you can use them on any one of your photos. Now, to get our textures onto our image, just grab your move tool and we're gonna hold shift and click and drag from one image to another. And this just pops these textures right over top as new layers. So I'm gonna hit F for full screen and I need to resize these. These textures are really nice and large. So chances are you might wanna resize them down just a little bit. All right, and you can even squeeze them in if you'd like. It's a texture so it really doesn't matter that much if you don't maintain aspect ratio. All right, let's do the same thing here. Control or Command T and I'm just gonna hold Shift and Alt or Option to like bring it in from all sides at the same time and from the left and the right as well. Okay, so now we have our texture and as you can see, let's just go ahead and zoom in so you can see it's super high quality here. Basically, it's just a light scratch texture on a dark background. Now, anytime you have something that's light on a dark background, you can use the screen blending mode, which just makes the dark areas go away and the light areas are gonna stay. So basically the background's gonna go and the textures will stay on your photo. So let's go ahead and change our layer blend mode from normal down to screen. And you're gonna see the dark areas of this layer completely go away. And what we're left with is just the photo scratches that are on top of the photo. Now you'll notice here that there's a little bit of a lighter area here. It's kind of lightening up our photo as a whole. So if you wanna make any adjustments to your texture, you can do so with levels. So I'm gonna hit Control or Command L for our levels. Now, if I just make my darks a little bit darker, you're gonna see they're gonna go ahead and disappear and allow me to see through a little bit more to the original photo. All right, that looks pretty good there. Now let's do the same thing with this. I'm gonna change this layer from normal down to screen. There we go. And I'm gonna hit Control or Command L for our levels. And here we have it. So we've got a couple of different layers and these textures apply over top of our photo. So there may be some times in which these textures actually cover up part of your photo. In that case, all you need to do is add a layer mask. I'm gonna click here on this layer because I've got a scratch that's kind of like going right over our subject. Let's click on our layer mask and I'm gonna hit B for the brush tool. And basically all I need to do is just make sure that I've got my black as my foreground color. We wanna make sure that our brush mode is set to normal. And I just need to paint black right over top of our texture and it's just gonna simply hide that area. All right, there we can see. And now we have this really nice texture that's kind of around our image, but not necessarily covering, covering our subject's face. So these textures are basically just black and white images. If you wanna add some color, it's really easy to do with hue saturation. So let's go ahead and turn this layer off temporarily. We're gonna do the original texture and I'm gonna hit Control or Command U for our hue slash saturation. Now in this case, I'm gonna click this colorize option here and you can see it's allowing me to actually add some color to that texture. So if you wanted to warm it up a little bit by bringing it to somewhere right about there, like an orange, and we can bring our saturation just down just a little bit, you can see it's gonna blend in just a little bit better with our photo. So let's go ahead and zoom in here and take a look at the before and after. So if I hit Control or Command Z, there's the before. You can see it's just white scratches and then there's the after, we've colored it a little bit and it blends a little bit better to our photo. So that's literally all there is to it. Now I wanna show you one more example using a logo. 
So back in Photoshop, let's go to File and down to Open, and we're gonna go ahead and open our logo. This is just an example here, just like a nice like little vintage like kind of stamp or seal. Now, basically the same thing. We're gonna take our textures here and I'm gonna hold Shift and click and drag from one image to another. There we are. And now we're gonna have to resize. So let's hit Control or Command T. We'll lock our width and our height and we'll just scale that really nice far down. We'll do the same thing with this one as well. So this looks really good, but the texture is visible on the entire image and I really just want it visible on the logo. So to do this, we're gonna use a clipping mask. Really easy to do. Let's right click here on our layer and I'm gonna go to create clipping mask. And you're gonna see when I do that, it only is gonna become visible over top of this area. So let's go ahead and do the same thing with this texture. Right click and go to create clipping mask. Now, of course, we can still move these around. There we go, let's put it right about there. And we have to change our layer blend mode from normal to screen. So let's go ahead and do that with both of these layers. All right, and here we can see, as I move these around, we have our texture on top of our vintage logo. All right, maybe I'll scale this down just a little bit more. That looks good. And don't forget, you can always hit Control or Command L for your levels make your darks a little bit darker. I'll just make them a little bit less visible because we're using the screen blend mode. All right, and in this case, I just wanna rotate this texture around. There we go, let's put it right about there. And I'm also gonna lower the opacity because it's just a bit too much. There we go, something like that looks really nice. So if you have something like a vintage logo or you know basically anything like this that you just want a little bit more detail in it. It's super easy to do. So here's the before, just a very simple black and white. And here's the after with a little bit of texture. Now don't forget, you guys can download all this stuff on flurn.com and these textures are just a small sample of a larger texture pack we have available. And you can find that link right down below as well. Thanks so much guys. I hope you enjoy your textures. Click that big thumbs up on YouTube and that subscribe button. We'll send you free tutorials every single week, just like this one. And if you wanna go even more in depth, go to flurn.com slash YouTube. You can save 10% on your Flurn Pro subscription where you can get textures just like this. Lightroom presets, Photoshop actions, and over 150 full-length, super in-depth, incredible tutorials. And as always, I'll flirty later. Bye, everyone.